Coca-Cola presents the Charlie Bailey Show with Memphis State University head football coach Charlie Bailey and Sport 3's Johnny Dark. Brought to you by the Coca-Cola Dr. Pepper Bottling Company of Memphis, Massey Foreign Auto Parts, Crown Distributors, distributors of Coors and Coors Light, and Murdoch Nissan. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Coach Charlie Bailey Show. Coach, once again, let me shake your hand on a victory last night and a big one. You know, I know we've beaten Ole Miss and we've beaten Alabama at home. We've beaten Tulane. But I honestly believe the team grew up a lot yesterday when they beat Louisville. They really did. They played well in all phases of the game. So whenever you're mentally ready to play, and we were yesterday, you run a little harder, you tack a little harder, you rush the pass a little bit better, you do all things better. And yesterday we did that. And played a complete football game, and I'm real proud of the football team and, I, and the coaching staff. I think the coaching staff did a great job. They had a great game plan, and they brought everything together. And uh, like I said, we put offense, defense, the kicking game, all of it together and played one great football game. You know, when the Tigers are playing like they did yesterday, I believe they could hold their own with just about anybody in the country. Well, motions play so much in college football. You know, you see it. Uh, week in, week out with those upsets in college football, and you got to be emotionally ready. And, and our players started getting ready last Sunday. They were embarrassed of what happened down southwest Louisiana, and they got themselves mentally ready to play, and, uh, and I'm real proud of them. Well, you certainly had a great game plan. You came right out and marched 53 yards, just like a machine, right down the field, scored the touchdown, and you were off and running. Yeah, we opened up. Uh, I think that's the key to the game was our uh, pass rush. Did a great job rushing our passer, Gruden, which came in. You know, he had a lot of credentials, and, he, uh, and we just got after him real good. Uh, Marlon Brown did a great job rushing the passer and pressured him all day long. Then our offense took advantage of the most the situations, came up with some big plays for us. A big win, 48-3, and we're going to take a look at the game tape in just a minute. Welcome back, everybody, to the Coach Charlie Bailey Show. Coach, 48-3, to three, you guys just dominated from uh, beginning to end. Everything you did seemed to be right. It all fell into place. And, and uh, for the first time, it looked to me like maybe the team had a little bit of that killer instinct, which they haven't had against, you know, teams like Louisville before. Well, it's the first time we really got anybody down and kept them down throughout the ball game. And, you know, we've gotten some people down before, such as the uh, Tulane game. I had them down 21 nothing. Lane came back and made a game of it. We had Vanderbilt down 17-0. Vanderbilt came back and beat us. This is the first time, I'd like to say, that we've really kept somebody down. And, uh, and uh, they just kept the pressure on the entire afternoon. Everybody played in the ball game. All the seniors, the seniors just did a great job building up to the ball game. On uh, thir uh, Friday's practice, we had a little skit out there for him. Coach Armstrong, he does a great <laughs> job with those guys. And tells a few jokes on them. And, uh, you know, just the build-up of the, of the football game was just great. Well, we knew Louisville was going to be coming in here passing. That's what they've done all year long, and I think they were averaging something like 180 yards. But you guys held them below that yesterday. Sure did. And there's Brian Chadwick, a walk-on, number 24, running down there on the kickoff and making the hit. And they, they opened up uh, the game with this play here. It's a little weak side sweep, and we worked on it all week long. And that's the only running play that we felt that we had to stop. And uh, on the first play, they get a big game. Here's uh, Marlon Brown coming through from the backside on pass to rush, and nobody was there to pick him up, and uh, Marlon made a big play for us, and uh, we just pressed that guy all day long. Face dog looked good yesterday, didn't he? He sure did. He played <laughs> like a face dog. Uh, we open up the game here with a double screen where we set the tailback. He goes uh, left for the screen. Fullback goes to the right there. And, uh, Wayne Pryor made a big play on the, on the double screen, and uh, sets up our first touchdown. There's Wayne running the football on a, down there near the goal line. Uh, here we are in our wing set. It's John Norman going through, almost going in for a, for a score. And then uh, Timmy Jones, here he runs quarterback sneak, goes in for the touchdown. Since we've uh, gone more, uh, got away from the power eye down there and gone more to the, we call it wing set, nobody's really stopped us uh, whenever we've gotten you know, in, in scoring position or even on uh, short yardage situations. We're really doing well with our wing set. Uh, here they are running what we call a sprint draw and uh, defense is there. I don't know, uh, Damon Young making a tackle. Damon played well yesterday. He really did. Yes, sir. This is a thing that concerned us. 
take a little spring draw pass and, you know, deep turn-ins. And, uh, you know, linebackers really had to get good depth out there to take that away. And here we have a little pressure defense on and forced Gruden to throw the football whenever he didn't, didn't want to. And that's Reggie Dubose making a big play for it. And the Cardinals think they can score, too, with their passing game. But uh, plays like this, <laughs> you well, can't do that, can you? No, here we get another, another big play right there. Here's a... He's got Rick for dead in there. Rick's gotten better and better each ball game. And Rick uh, started the season with a third team nose guard. Right now, he's a first team nose guard, red shirt freshman. He gets better and better each ball game. And I think a lot of a lot of our problems with our injuries, the fact that some of those young men didn't have any experience. Oh, there's Marlon Brown, face dog. He comes right. through and makes a big, big hit there. It was a major league hit, wasn't it? Oh, it sure was. I tell you what, that right there was close. Uh, we got a little quick out call there, and Ray Kraft catches the ball, makes a big play, but it was very close. I thought it was going to be an interception for a touchdown. The other, you know, and, and that that would have been a big play for them, but we were very fortunate. A team is just moving here. I mean, they are, they're just blowing the guys off the line. They're moving with authority. You've got to be an excited man right here. Well, we, things are uh, coming easy. And, uh, you know, you like, oh, you yeah. like to see that as a you football You need that coach. sometimes, don't you? Sure do. And that was Wayne Pryor scored on a trap play. Here they're throwing a slant. And, you know, when a guy caught the ball, what, what, what I liked about it, we had people there. Here, you know, we have a little, uh, what we call a card stunt on here. We bring them linebackers up the middle, and the quarterback thought coming and created a fumble. Another turnover for us. There's uh, Tim Jones. Tim, once again, had a good day yesterday throwing to Ray Craft over the middle for completion. Tim has gotten better and better each ball game. Uh, you know, he overcame that concussion and played quite well. Here they are throwing a little bootleg. Eddie really Moore. Suing. They're, just, they're just swarming these yeah, guys. They are. Here we have a blitz on. And look there, there's Randall Cooper makes a big play, interception. That's just Boy, you don't, year. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to make those plays very often. And, you know, these defensive backs, whenever they do, I like to see them get excited like that. Here's Tracy Holmes. You know, Tracy hadn't played in it all this year and he came in and ran like heck he's a senior out of texarkana he's running there and uh, had a big day yesterday and i was real proud of him he has his legs back and ran real well here's billy moody and what we call him m lee down and billy cuts it back goes in for a score billy played well also yesterday i think billy had three, three touchdowns, touchdowns. Three yeah. touchdowns. Yeah. he sure did here they're running a trap play and there's damon young makes them make them tackle here they uh, throw a little slant pass, and uh, what we we worked on that all week long, you know, getting in a throwing lane, and Damon was there and caught the pass, and I'm gonna get on to him for not outrunning that, uh, <laughs> that that running back now through there. And here we run a little what we call a naked bootleg, and there's Billy Moody wide open in the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, that you know set up another score that came real quick, like. It's a great play right there. Now, you know, we go up 27 nothing, and I, I like to see things like that. I really do. It, it, you know, it, it, makes, makes, you, it easy, yeah, makes you feel a little bit more comfortable there on the sideline. Uh -huh. It does. And the guys, that, this, Nico, is, this yeah. is where these guys are still coming in here making these tackles. Yeah, that's Nico Perkins making a big play on the screen pass over there. Great play to Nico. There they run a sweep. Marlon Brown chases it down. Marlon is a good football player. He really is. There's Eddie Moore making another interception. The defensive backs played well yesterday. Well, you said all year long if these guys do this, they're going to get the interceptions, they're going to get the sacks, and uh, they, they will be your game plan. Yes, and, uh, you know, Eddie's one of those guys that came off the bench and done quite well for us. Here we're trying for the home run. Well, we almost make a big player. Charles Wilson, he came close catching that. He, he, <laughs> he almost made a great catch. He's done a great job, too. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is, Coach, but there's something about those all-blue uniforms that I really like, and uh, I don't know if, if it has anything to do with inspiring the team or not, but you've got a great first half, and we'll be back to look at the second half in just a second. Welcome back. I'm Johnny Dark, along with Coach Charlie Bailey. And Coach... Uh, you're up big at halftime against Louisville, but this time there's something different. You're not letting the Cardinals back into the game. 
That's correct. We talked about that at halftime. You know, we'd been up before, and uh, we didn't want to blow this lead. We wanted to go out and play the second half exactly like we did the first half. You know, we started slow that second half. Uh, we really did, but then we picked up. Uh, you know, I was concerned there. You know, we let them go in for a score, and, uh, you know, they used up a lot of clock doing it, but uh, it concerned me. But our offense came back and got a field goal, and then from that point, the defense picked up on it and came up some big plays, and then we, you know, we scored a few more points. Well, that's, that's the difference. That's why I said earlier when I...